We got some major, major breaking news, and it has been officially announced that Noah Gregson has parted ways and been released from Legacy Motor Club. What's going on, guys? It's Daniel, and welcome back to the video. As I just said a second ago, we got some massive breaking news that just came out of Sango about Noah Gregson. According to Legacy Motor Club, they have said that today that Noah Gregson has requested to be released from his contract as a driver, the number 42 for Legacy Motor Club. Noah Gregson says, I've asked Legacy Motor Club to release me from my contract so that I can take time to work through the NASCAR reinstatement process. I love racing, and I'm looking forward to a second chance to compete for wins at the highest level of NASCAR, and most of Importantly, make my family, my team, and fans proud of me once again. Cal Wells III, who is CEO of Legacy Motor Club, now says, Noah has a ton of talent, has a great personality. This is a difficult situation, but we are proud that Noah has taken ownership of his actions and are confident that he will work through this process with NASCAR and come back stronger. Obviously, there's been rumors, rumors of Noah Grayson after the whole situation is broken. Obviously, over the last week, Noah Grayson has been indefinitely suspended from NASCAR after he basically liked a meme on social media that was very, very offensive to a lot of people. And NASCAR made first like. Legacy Motor Club has suspended Noah Gregson. We knew at least was going to be at least the next two to three weeks. He had not raced in Michigan. And Mike Rockefeller is going to drive the number 42 car for the next two weeks. Now the big question is what happens in Noah Gregson's future? We don't know at this point. But obviously this has been rumored for a very, very long time. And I again, I think Noah Gregson was the one I think that probably made the decision. Granted, Legacy probably was already one to get out of the contract. And a lot of people are wondering why would Noah Gregson get out of his contract early Legacy Motor Club and lead the team early? Well, if Noah Grayson was to come back to Legacy Motor Club, it would be a very, very toxic environment and a very, very toxic situation all across the team. So that's one of the biggest reasons why I believe that Noah Grayson has requested to be let, his, left out of his contract early. Now, I will say Cal Wells is giving Noah Grayson a lot of praise and saying Noah Grayson does deserve a second chance. Now, I'll come on and give my take on the Noah Grayson situation. Do I think Noah Grayson deserves a second chance? Absolutely 100%. I don't know if an indefinite suspension would have been the right decision from him. I know Nat, their teams have suspended drivers from their organizations in the past, and NASCAR has not gotten involved. Maybe NASCAR might have not gotten, shouldn't have gotten involved. I feel like that they should have had him go through sensitivity training, but I feel like a suspension may have not been completely worthy, though you do have to be careful what you like on social media, because what Noah Grayson did was kind of, does not the smartest decision in the world when you do things like that. When you go on social media and like posts, people can go through it. Now, should, I, should people go in through and digging through your likes? That's another thing I think that probably should not be happening, but it is what it is in that situation. That being said, it is a very, very different time in 2023, and you have a lot of sponsors that are backing you. Now, like I said, I do believe in Noah Grayson 1,000% deserves second chance. The guy can drive a race car, but the big question is going to be, will some teams give him that second chance? That is up to a lot of teams. Now, one thing to know is we don't know who's going to be the 42 car here for the rest of the year. Obviously, we do know that Mike Rockefeller will be in for the next two weeks. My big question now is who will get an opportunity chance to drive that 42 car for the next two weeks? I look at guys, maybe somehow they give Matt Benedetto chance an opportunity once again in the 42 car. He's part of the Chevy camp. What about Christian Eckes? I would imagine Christian Eckes can make some cup starts for the team. Grant M. Fingers, another driver that I mentioned. I know people have brought up John Hernemichek, but John Hernemichek's under contract with Toyota. But I think at this point, if Noah Grayson leaving Legacy Motor Club now, I would expect that you're going to end up seeing John Hunter take over that 42 car next year. Obviously, you've been looking kind of maybe for an excuse to get rid of Noah Grayson at the end of the year with how good John Hunter Nemechek has been tearing up in the NASCAR Xfinity Series here. I would expect that John Hunter is going to take over that car in the 2024 season. But getting back and talking about the situation with Noah, I 1,000% do believe that Noah Grayson deserves a second chance and a second opportunity because everyone deserves second chance in life. Again, I don't know if Noah Grayson will get an opportunity to get a top-tier opportunity because this is not like Kyle Larson. And look, Kyle, what Kyle Larson did, in my opinion, was definitely worse. What he did in going on iRacing, saying that really, really bad word that you're not supposed to say, definitely lost Kyle Larson his right. But the difference between Kyle Larson and Noah Grayson is Kyle Larson is a generational talent and someone that has now won an NASCAR Cup Series championship, and everyone knew that he was going to probably get a chance and opportunity. Plus, he did stuff without being on social media and posting on social media, going through and helping out communities off of social media as well, which earned him that second chance and opportunity. And look what Kyle Larson has been able to accomplish. Noah Gray, so while yes, he is a very talented race car driver, he's not Kyle Larson. I think we all can agree that Kyle Larson is a much better race car driver in general, and 
I think that Glarson is a better driver than Gregson, so I would imagine that Gregson is going to probably have a more difficult time getting a good ride. And if you want my honest opinion, even though people mention him saying he's going to go back to the Cup Series, I don't think Noah Gregson is going to be returning to the Cup Series next year, 2024. I know people mention Carl Gracing, but Carl Grayson's looking for someone with sponsorship, and I'm not sure Noah Grayson really has many more sponsors anymore that are willing to work for them. I know that Black Rifle Coffee went is his work with Noah Grayson this year, but let's be perfectly honest, he only spots him for a few races. The majority of the races that Noah Grayson have been sponsored with Legacy Motor Club have been with basically all Mari Gallagher sponsorships, that being the Legion, Sunseeker Resorts, Casinos. But anyways, talking about Noah Grayson, not everything's been Noah Grayson's fault this year in 2023. Obviously, coming into the year, Noah Grayson, there was a lot of hype around him, and it's because Noah Grayson had had a fantastic year in 2022 in the NASCAR Xfinity Series, winning eight races, and there's definitely a lot of hype around him. Unfortunately, though, in the Cup Series, it had not been a good year, but I also think Legacy Motor Club, which last year they were petty GMS, they had taken major steps backwards. Last year, Eric Jones was in the top 15 in points on legitimate speed, and unfortunately, this year, while Eric Jones is starting to really get in his groove, Eric Jones has dropped like 26 or 27 the points. Granny does have a 60-point penalty that the team did receive, though I will say Eric Jones is starting to improve and I think with the Toyota partnership and connection there I think that that team is going to get better in 2024 Obviously, like I said, I don't know what happens to Noah Grayson. Does he go back to Xfinity Series? Does Dale Jr. work with him next? Or maybe he goes to Junior Motorsports? That could be a potential possibility. That's something that I that's something that could be potentially on the table as well. Now, one thing I do want to mention before getting out of this, I think Noah Grayson made the decision to leave the team. I don't think that Legacy was officially the one that made the decision, even though I think they probably were going to release him regardless. It's crazy to think though that lot earlier in the week we're talking about Noah Grayson being let go from the team, then not being let go, and now it's official get from the no grace and is being let go from the team so at least we now know for sure he's out of legacy motor club we don't have to wait to hear after two weeks again his future was very very uncertain at the moment but now we know for sure the noah grace will not be back at legacy motor club in the 2023 season which is disappointing but again you got to be careful what you do on social media otherwise you're going to end up probably losing your career at least in the cup series i should say now i think he can get back to xfinity I don't think he needs much sponsorship. The Truck Series, I think, is another potential possibility doing the Matt Benedetto route. Obviously, Matt Benedetto lost his cup right after 2021. There was a Let's Go Brandon situation with NASCAR was distancing themselves away from. You could honestly see him go back to Trucks, maybe or go back to Xfinity, but I don't see Noah Gregson going cup racing in 2024. But I think he definitely deserves a second chance and opportunity because the guy can drive a race car. You don't win eight races and then don't do much. The guy can drive a race car. Legacy just struggled this year in 2023. So, that is going to be today's breaking NASCAR news report. I want to thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, the channel notifications on so you can when a video does go live on my channel. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, and support me on Patreon as well. Link in the description below with that, and comment your thoughts below on today's video. What are your thoughts about the breaking news of No Grace and being released in Legacy Motor Club? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Later tonight on the channel, we'll have the Asterix race to view from Eldora Speedway, and then tomorrow on the channel, we'll do a little bit of follow-up on this story and other NASCAR news stories that come up over the last couple of days, and also have the Truck Series race from IRP as the truck playoffs begin. Then Saturday, we'll have the X if any series race to view from the Indy Road Course, and then on Sunday, we'll have the NASCAR Cup series race view from the indie road course as well we're getting close to 2,000 subscribers on the channel so if you enjoyed today's video make sure to subscribe so anyways like i said i want to thank you guys for watching today's episode and i'll see you guys next time for more great awesome nascar content and other motorsports content on the channel like this take care everybody